Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to be grilling up some marinated chicken wings. The marinade that we're gonna be using today is called So Boss Handcrafted Marinade. I saw this on my buddy's channel, Lyle, on No Hippie Barbecue. I'll leave a link to his channel there. I wanted to give this a try and give my review on um, how I like it and kind of the flavor profile of it. It's supposed to be good on chicken, pork, fish, lamb, things of that nature. So we're going to try it on some wings today. Let's go ahead and get these prepared. I've got five pounds of wings here that I went ahead and uh, cut them up and portioned them out. Uh, the flats and then also the uh, drumettes and we're going to put these in a bag and the bag comes with it comes with uh, the soap off sauce already it's a sealed bag so we're going to place uh, the chicken bre uh, chicken wings inside this bag it should fit all five pounds of it should fit it in here fine And we're going to use the whole bottle. It's like 16 ounces, I believe, is the bottle. And we're going to use all of it in here. Just going to shake it up a little bit. And then we're going to put all of it in there. Seal this bag. Try to get all the air out of it. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what I'm, I'm. It's a different. It's a different smell. I'm, I'm trying to figure if I pick up any any. Um, if I'm picking up any type of garlic in it or anything like that. Um, I think maybe I am getting a little bit of garlic, um, but we're all looking forward to trying this. Um, it's already got a great coating on it, as you can see here. We're gonna kind of mix this out up and. Try to get all the air out of it if we can. We can get all the air out of it. All right, this is sealed up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and leave it overnight. And then tomorrow for lunch or something, we're gonna be grilling these up on our Weber grill using the Vortex. All right, let's go ahead and get our charcoal lit. We're using all natural hardwood lump charcoal today by Jealous Devil. This stuff right here will burn a long time, even though we're not using it for a long cook today. Uh, it's great for, for long cooks and it also burns really hot. I know a lot of large restaurants and so forth use this charcoal. This is some great stuff. I'll leave uh, the information below in the show more section. We'll go ahead and light a couple of tumbleweeds to go ahead and get this started. It's gonna probably take about 20 minutes to 30 minutes for this to get lit. We need it at really hot. I've got the bottom vent completely open and when we close the lid after it gets hot, I'll be using it wide open there as well. Our flame is getting where we want it to be. Now I wanna speed up the process a little bit. Now I have a good friend of mine, you may be familiar with him. His name is Cooking with Tom Tom. Tom is the one who had that YouTube channel. He has an online store now where he's offering a lot of different neat uh, products that you can use for your um, grills and so forth. This right here is just a hand crank fan to kind of get this charcoal really going. I highly recommend this as well if you're wanting to speed up the process a little bit and you don't have one of those motorized or electric ones. This right here works great. See this really gets it rolling. Again, in the show more section, I'll leave this information. Go get you one of these. We're gonna get our wings on. As you can see, it's not even full, and this charcoal is 
major hot. I mean, it does such a great job. You don't even have to use that whole thing. So go ahead and get these on. Probably not gonna take, but about 30 to 35 minutes maybe for these wings. We're gonna get all these on. You see that nice coating that Sabah sauce puts on there overnight. Some people do it less. I wanted to go ahead and try it overnight, get the full experience. So we'll get all these on, give them about 10 minutes, and then we'll check back with them then. Let's check these wings out. Got about 10 minutes. Kind of see where we're at color-wise on the bottom. I think we're gonna give them another five minutes or so before we flip them over. Yeah, another five minutes or so, we'll flip these over. All right, been another five minutes, so 15 minutes total. We're gonna start flipping these over. Really nice color on them. We're gonna go 10 minutes on this side and then kind of see where we're at then because they are cooking really, really fast. I may put them over the coals just to kind of get a little bit of a char. Right now, the skin is not crispy. If you don't know much about the Vortex, Vortex basically cooks indirect. The main heat is here, which it circulates all the way around. This is a great way to cook wings. We'll get all these flipped over. Check them back in, in 10 minutes. All right, we've gone another 10 minutes on this side. I'm gonna give them a check, kind of see where we're at. Most people say 165. These are right at 165. I wanna to go to a little bit more than that. I want my make sure mine are good and done. Some of them are a little bit more done than others. But that's not gonna be dried out. We just marinate overnight. They're gonna be fine. I'm gonna flip these over. I'm gonna get them a little bit closer to the coals here. Try to get a little bit of a char on them. There's a lot of them, so I probably won't be getting so many there. Flip these over. Get these a little closer. I'm gonna give them another five minutes or so, and we'll be done. So we're looking at total, is that 25, probably, 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes total, and we'll be good. Here's our wings. I went ahead and put them a little bit over the coals to kind of get a nice char on them, kind of crisp up that skin. Hoping you can hear that. The smell is amazing. Now these are not hot. You would think they would are hot by the color, but it's just the color in the marinade. They're not hot, they're a mild, but they're full of flavor. My wife first saw them, that's what she thought. She was like, are these hot? I was like, no, baby, they're not hot because she's worried about that. She doesn't look hot at all. But the color on it is amazing. The color is great. Um, the flavor I'm about to try, I know it's going to be awesome. Here's another one of these wings here. The drum heads are my favorite, but I'm going to try one of these, uh, the flats, and see how it goes. Oh, man. Very good, very good. Still super moist from that marinade overnight. Man, that looks so good. I can't really, it's hard to tell you exactly what they taste like. Um, it's basically, it's a different flavor, but it's really good. I'm picking up some chili. I'm picking up some 
It's, it's definitely savory. It's not hot at all. It's maybe a little bit sweet. Garlic. Again, chili powder and garlic is, is my main flavors I'm picking up. To somebody else, it may taste even different, but it, is, it has a really good flavor to it. I highly recommend getting you some of this and trying it yourself. You can use it on different, uh, different meats as well. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this is something that was informative to you. If for some reason you're not a subscriber, I hope you will consider subscribing. Until next time, guys, God bless.